Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a review on the Halo Infinite Warthog Rally set. Now, in the last video, I did a stop motion speed build type thing of it. And I didn't actually talk through any of it, so it was very hard to know my opinion. And when I opened the package, the first thing I noticed when putting the get together the characters was the level on, of detail on Chief, especially on his helmet, is amazing. The paint application is really good. Uh, the assault rifle looks great, although it could be a little darker in my opinion. But I know this like the standard gray. The back plate has really good detail on it and I really like the um the like forearm part the usually the characters have very little detail on their forearms or like mostly repeated details but this one was pretty unique and I really liked it for the marine uh, personally, I don't really like the design of this kind of SMG, especially the Mega Box version. It just isn't very appealing to me. And also, I don't really like the SMG as a weapon. It doesn't feel as Halo. And so, in like every Marine pack or a pack that comes with marines they always have the marines holding an smg and personally i'm not the biggest fan but anyway the detachable helmet is really nice it's the first one of my figures that has a detachable helmet that isn't an elite or a brute or a you know a covenant but it looks really nice fits well. Uh, I noticed the hole on top is a square instead of a circle for some reason. The eyes, they still are going with the hole in the head. I don't personally like that look, although it's fine. It's just not what I would go for. And this figure's, in particular, his arm is kind of loose. So, that's not great and when I first opened it this was the first character I actually built but I then did the time lapse thing and unbuilt him so I could rebuild him and then the overall detail on him is really good I really like the legs although the spin around feet are slightly weird but the detail on the pants is great. I really like the uh, texture on the arms and the paint appliance on the visor itself is pretty good. I really like it. And for the overall Warthog, I actually built it wrong in the video. I had the these parts, the like connector between the wheel and the suspension thing, I had them upside down so it didn't sit correctly. And then I thought that you had to have the war that it was normal for the warthog to be raised like this, but that looks really weird. So it definitely wasn't normal. So I brought it back down. I really like the data thing on the inside of the warthog i don't yet have an opinion on the new chairs i kind of like them more than the one piece chairs but i wish they could move a little the gas canisters look really good i really like them the overall build of this is pretty sturdy they went with the same glass thing with the right there uh 
I don't know why they don't just like have a piece that like sticks down like this windshield sticks better or have something coming out of this part but I don't personally mind it too much it's just kind of in the way sometimes I really like these side parts although they were a pain to build uh, and they're also very fragile but they're easy to put back together the instructions were just a bit unclear and the instructions for part of it I'll grab them real quick were not very good in fact I would say they were very bad it took me forever to figure out one part of the build because it was just so horribly set up in the instruction book uh, if I could find the instruction book, I would show it to the camera, but I set it somewhere, and I'm not sure where that was, although I believe it is down here somewhere. There it is. Put it in the box. In the... I actually haven't built the boat version yet, and I don't think I'm going to, just because I don't want to mess around with taking it apart and putting it back together. But the instruction that confused me was... Page... It was the one with the coil on front, on the front. This, the instruction for where to put that on and how to put it together was really weird. It's this one. So I have a fan blowing, it's knocking it around. But tell me that isn't confusing took me like 10 minutes to figure out uh, like four of the instructions. The rest of it's pretty simple. It's a good build, easy to put together except for a few confusing instructions, but that's typically how Mega constructs are. I found Lego instructions way easier to use. And for the jackals, I almost forgot they were in the set. The Paint application on both of mine were good. I've had some paint application that was really messed up. I am not so much a fan of the torso design. And the shield looks really cool. And they're all unique, which I find pretty cool. But I personally like the shield of these over the old jackals. Here, I'll, I'll just show you what I mean. So I'm trying to explain it. The first Halo Mega Blocks I ever got was a like 50 set of old articulation Spartans and these jackals. I got three of them. I lost one of them, but I have this one and a purple one. And the shields were really boring, although they did the job. They. The arms, the articulation on them was really bad. I really like the articulation on these jackals, even though they use the articulation from these on most of it. Uh, I also really like the design of the body, the much slimmer. But I wish they would have done some shading, like on these one's arms. I wish it was more like the Halo Heroes ones. And the shield, I don't like it like this one, where it's way too simple and doesn't have any detail. But I also like the lines that you can actually, like, tell what's going on instead of just the, like, wispy, cloudy thing. I prefer the mix of the two. Like, 
if there were more of these darker parts in it, like on this one's shield. Uh, but yeah, that's it for the shield. The hair, I don't mind, but it's kind of weird. I've never been a fan of the hair on jackals. The old articulation ones had it on the elbow. These ones have it on top. Not much of a fan. The eyes look great. The plasma pistols, I really wish they would color these. I really liked colored, I really like colored plasma pistols. Or they should make new ones that are more Halo 5 or Halo, uh, or the classic Halo trilogy design. Not much of a fan for this type of design, like in Halo 4 and Reach. I much prefer the older design or the newer design. Uh, but the long heads is kind of weird. They're weird to pose because sometimes you'll end up like this and the neck will uh, stick out. But other than that, the jackals, I think might be my favorite jackals that they've made. They're pretty good. Although I would shade the arms and maybe add some shading to the hair, but that would cost more. And it's already a 30 buck set for a warthog that only has 300 something pieces. 314 and that's kind of overpriced if you ask me but most uh, Legos and mega constructs are pretty overpriced uh, my thoughts on the turret it it's pretty good I really like the uh, coloration of it I also like the UNSC symbol and the fact that they're going back to the old like armor things but personally I just don't like that you can't like fully stand it up it has to be leaning also it is very loose on the turning which I guess they can't really fix but if they could make it a little tighter that would be great my thoughts on the antenna, I, I don't know why they hate putting antennas on the warthogs. I don't think they do anything, although it adds a tiny bit of flare, kind of breaks up the flatness, so I don't mind it. Now, my thoughts on the actual, like, I don't know, I just blinked on the word, the... tension or whatever it's fine it can be kind of iffy if you break a rubber band then you're pretty much screwed um it looks good like no complaint visually it doesn't take away from the overall design although if they could do the pieces that go in the middle if they made that a little bit darker I think it would work a little bit better. The bronze is kind of too strong. The, this part, I, the weird wire hanging in between, I think it's supposed to be like a radio, but I'm not sure. I really like the edge along these rails. And I also really like this rail. They reuse the same wheels. I don't love the wheels, but they're not bad. I wish they were a little bit darker in the middle or shaded a little bit, but overall it, it's a pretty good buy. I also really like the engine. I think they've used it before, but I'm not sure. I've only had three Warthogs. I had the Flame Warthog with the Halo 4 gun ears. I don't know how to say that word. I had the Master Chief and Arbiter Warthog and I had this one. Uh, personally, I would say it's not worth $30. If you can find it on sale for something like $25, that would be your go-to. And I would lower the price to $25 if it were up to me. 
but I feel like it was really worth it just for the Master Chief. Great figure. I can't imagine how the Halo Heroes one looks. I just wish the uh, last Halo Heroes I bought, not the ones that I just got, but the last one actually came with all its pieces. I'll show you. I'm gonna go on a little bit of a rant. So if you wanna click off the video, I wouldn't mind at all. But the uh, the Halo Heroes I've gotten are all normal. Or I don't even think it was a Halo Heroes. You'll have to correct me if I'm wrong. But it's the Green Combat Evolved Elite or it's like Combat Evolved or some one of the games, I'm not sure. I think it was Combat Evolved. And I think it was a Halo Hero. Although it could have been a blind bag and now that I'm saying it, I think it was a blind bag. But it actually didn't come with a back armor piece. I really like the design of it, except the helmet. I feel like it could be expanded a bit just so it didn't look so awkward because it looks kind of small if it were just extended a bit overall great design i gave mine a halo reach plasma repeater but mine instead of coming with a front and a back armor plating i got two fronts now that is really annoying because when you do things like stop motion or dioramas like i do that can be really weird when you're either forced to not have a back, not use the character, or have a different colored black. Thankfully, the silver fits pretty well with the green, although it does look misplaced. The art style is way different. Uh, but I got two fronts and was really confused because I thought maybe they like changed it since I last got them. So I was like, wait, that isn't going on correctly. I wonder why, and then I noticed they both had these, and I was like, well, what the heck? And it's the only one that I've ever had really messed up, but it is a good figure overall, but I really wish I could get a back piece because I've used it before in a stop motion, I think, and I'm using it in one that I'm making now. Uh, that video should be coming out in the coming weeks. I'm gonna be putting way more effort into it. But I'm using it and it's just really weird seeing a Elite with the very simple art style with the silver back that looks like it's from Halo 4, but other than that, this set is great, the figures are great, I I wish the Marine had something more to hang on to than just this, because it's not the greatest, I can't get his arm positioned just right to hold on to it, the steering wheel, I don't love the Halo, and the Halo Mega Construct steering wheels, they're just kind of awkward to use sometimes. They spin around a bit too fast. The Jackals are great for the price. They look good. They have great articulation. The weapons are the same. The shields look really cool. And I really like what 343 is doing, bringing back the classic Jackals. They look really derpy. And I really like it. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video. I'm actually going to do a review on something else. It's a mystery kind of in a good while, but it, it, you'll just have to wait. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video.